I'm Mitch the Sharpener, and today we're going to talk about hollow ground sharpening. Now before we begin, you need to know, you're going to need a Tranco 2000. This machine right here is going to cost you just $2,000. Um, and before we begin, uh, make sure that you never, ever let anyone touch your blades with sandpaper. Now, next, you're going to need a magnet uh, for the machine, special magnet. It's going to be $50, but... <clears throat> I can't seem to find my magnet. I'm sorry, I gotta get my magnet. <laughs> okay, I got to be quick because Mitch, the sharpener, left and he don't, I don't want him to find out I'm sabotaging his video. I took his magnet. So, uh, Right now, he's looking for his magnet. So let's get to the video. Reverse engineered hollow ground sharpening. That's what we're gonna show you today. And all you needed was 220 grit sandpaper, a sharpening block, and yes, blade boots. And how do you put it together? You take the sandpaper, you lock it in on one side, on top and bottom. You lock in the curved side, and then you lock in the flat side. Just like you see here. And then at the very end, if you notice, there's a deep, deep curve. That curve is too deep. But we want to get the simulation of the actual cone curve that's in this plate. What do you do? You take a pencil at home, you slide it in here, you lock it in. Take another pencil on this side, slide it in, lock it in. And what do you get? You get a more simulated curve like the plate. Now, what you want to do right away is understand something. Dog groomers and barbers use the same blades. This is a number five or number two blade. This is a one and a half blade or a seven blade. And this is a 10 blade or number one blade. Now here's the thing you keep in mind. You take this blade loose. You can look at my video, detachable blades, to learn how to take it loose and put it back together. So we won't waste the time to do that. But I'm gonna start have you zoom in and take a look at this blade. As you can see, it has a wear line. It's dulled out. And we're going to show you how the wear line goes away with hollow ground sharpening. Now, the bigger blades, you can use the magnet. I'm going to show you a little later how you use this custom-made magnet for smaller blades. Now, you take this, like this number 10 blade, you drop it down flat. Keep it flat, two to three pounds of pressure, and slide back. Now, notice how the hollow ground sharpening starts at the bottom half of the blade and it gradually works its way up to the top of the teeth. So if you notice in this video, if you zoom in now, the bottom part of it is starting to sharpen first because it's going to curve the hollow in. Let's continue. Start at the very beginning and slide all the way to the back, all the way to the back. Now let's take a look at it. As you can see, we zoom in, it's gradually working, the shine is gradually working its way up a little bit more. Now you do understand that this hollow ground sharpening takes a lot longer than sharpening flat. Sharpening flat was just a quick fix, a donut. This right here will take you a lot longer so be prepared to spend more time. But like Sharpener Mitch said, sharpeners don't believe that you can do this with sandpaper. They want you to only do it with the machine. But again, I explained to you, it can be done. It's just that you have to do it the right way. And me as a barber and a sharpener, I know how to get to achieve this or reverse engineer this by using this hollow part of this sanding block. Now, let's take a look at the sharpening blade. The sharpening part. Can you see how it gradually worked its way up? That's what the hollow ground sharpening do for you. One more time. Now once you get it fully sharp and the shine is all the way across, you flip it over to the flat side. About two pounds of pressure, you just flat buff it. Softly, not as much, real light and soft. And that brings everything together for you. 
Now, you do the same thing for the five or the number two blade, the one and a half or the seven blade, and yes, you do the exact same thing for the T-outliner blade. You start off this way with your sharp, sharpening, uh, your uh, magnet, blade magnet, and then you go to flat. Same thing with any of these other blades. As you can see, the, sharp, the small blades is what you make the custom magnets for. Now, to put this blade back together, you look at my video on detachable blades. Just remember, you do have to take a pair of pliers and tighten the tension spring slightly. And then check my video. The other thing is, to clean this blade, look at video number one. If you have any questions, message me. Everything that I taught you is possible. And yes, you can put the hollow ground back in your blade by following these instructions. So you take these two blades, they come together, hollow ground for you. All right, I got to get out of here because Mitch is going to be back and he's going to find out I sabotage this video and uh, we're going to end with some music. So uh, now we can start the uh, uh, video's over, man. Uh, what do you mean you're just about to start? Well, unless you want to pay us to play again. That's whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you already got me for this one. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get you again. Well.